just vaping on my table mod. Table mod. Hey guys, Vaping Vic here and welcome to another review. Today we are looking at the Coilmaster 521 tab. It's their new build station uh, from Coilmaster, coil-master.net. Uh, and we're going to go down low, we're going to take a look at uh, what this actually does and what it can do for you. And uh, then I'm going to give it away at the end of the video as well, as well so stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, so uh, let's go down low. Oh, I need to vape on my build station. Um, so yeah, so we'll go down low. I'll show you show you what it's all about, and then we'll come back up top, and I'll tell you a bit more, and I'll tell you how you can have this. Okay, guys, here we are up close with the Coilmaster five two one tab uh, from Coilmaster. Uh, this is the packaging, lovely packaging box as always from uh, the Coilmaster people. Uh, so you take the lid off and uh, you get some paraphernalia and propaganda here. And then you get your uh, box of goodies in here. You get uh, a USB charger, you can charge this via USB. One should put in a battery of course. Uh, and you get some clips that we'll come back to in a second. You also get uh, a voltage checker. This is just for checking your battery, really, um, just to see how that's uh, how much battery life you've got left in your mod, your mechanical mod, or what have you. And then you get straight to it. This is the five two one tab. Uh, build station slash table mod. Uh, what do you need to know? There's your fire button. Clicks like that. You've got a spring loaded 510. Uh, those are the two holes that you use for the uh, voltage checker, like this. Like that. But you can also use it uh, for these cables. So you put one in there. You put one in there, and what that allows you to do is me measure the resistance of a piece of canthal wire. So you could sort of cut it and then see if you've got it how you want it. Uh, it's actually quite fiddly though. Um, it really is a bit of a faff doing this. Uh, so, wait. Right. So once you've got the actual reading correct, it looks like there's about 1.7, don't you can see that, 1.7, uh, yeah, you get the idea, I hope you get the idea, you can measure the resistance between uh, a length of canthal using those. Okay, take those out. Okay, so turning the mod upside down. Uh, you can see this is where your battery goes um, and it's just an 18650 battery and you have to provide that yourself. Uh, you can see what the buttons do here as well, burn off and checker. That just slips on like that, magnetised. So without further ado, this is a good example actually because this is a build that I'm trashing anyway. So screw this in, this is mutation X V4. And the idea is it's an ohms reader, that's interesting. Uh, it's an ohms reader. I haven't got a great connection on one of the uh, coils for whatever reason, needs screwing down more or something. So it's coming out at 0.5. Uh, but if we put it on here. We can fire it up. You see how one coil's firing way better than the other, even though they're the same amount of wraps. Uh, 
yeah, I don't have a good connection on that second coil. So I need to sort that out. And the beauty is I don't have to screw it onto a mod, then come back and screw it back on here. Uh, that's, the, that's the great bit. It's, <laughs> it's reading point three now. Um, so I don't have a good connection with this coil. But um, yeah, it's an ohms reader. Lovely screen, battery checker on there. And it can be used as a mod, but really its primary function is to uh, warm up these coils before, uh, while you're building and tidying them up, what burnt dry burn them and all that. Um, it does work fine with uh, nickel builds as well. What have we got? Hold the phone. Uh, so I've got a nickel build in this K-phone. And you can see that is my nickel build in the K-phone. Who thought we'd ever be at 0.11 in a K-phone? But we are these days. Uh, so super accurate, decent. Um, technically it can be used to fire, mod, to fire atomizers and vape them. And that's why they get away with calling it a table mod. But really... Really, it is what it is, and that is a build station, uh, which saves you a lot of hassle when building coils, and that is their sort of remit, isn't it? Uh, we'll go back up top. Okay, so that was the uh, 5 to 1 tab from Coil Master. Uh, it's a build station, guys. You know, I'm messing about vaping on it. I don't recommend that at all. You've got trouble on your hands there. Um, but it's it's a, a build station and it's a very good one, very good ohms reader, spring loaded, so you're not going to have any trouble. Seems accurate. Uh, the battery checker, if you like that sort of thing, is available there. Um, you can measure the resistance of the length of wire using those clips. It's very fiddly that though, and um, it's not really how I sort of figure out the ohms of my builds anyway. Um, I sort of do it in size of wrap, size of cam fall, amount of wraps, and I just sort of do the, the math that way, and then I double check it once I've bit screwed it all in. Um, but it does save a lot of time and a lot of hassle, because you don't have to then screw it onto a mod. You don't have to build it, screw it onto a mod, fire it, see a problem, tidy them up, put them back on, check the readings, wick it. You can just do it all on this station, and that is super, super cool, super easy. Lovely screen. Um, it just functions exactly as it should. You know, I like that it takes a single 18650. Um, I like that you can charge it using the USB, but it's so easy to pop the battery out, so that's not a problem at all. Um, it looks how I think it should look. It works how I think it should work. It's super handy, and it's very affordable as well. $40 will get you one of these. Um, they're going to be widely available uh, once everything settles down. I know you can get them directly from coil-master.net and I know once they've got more stock around the world uh, they do have uh, supply factories, uh, distribution outlets if you like, in USA and in, in England as well. So if you do order direct from coil-master.net then it should come quickly once it's all settled down and this is fully out and available. I don't have any beef with this at all. I think it's rock solid. Um, it does exactly what it should do. Good fire button, good 510. Accurate ohms reading from my uh, my evaluation. It seems very accurate ohms reading. Um, you know, very, very handy for like that situation I showed you with the Mutation X where I've done a build, but it's not quite right. Uh, and without any hassle now, I don't need to wick that, put it on a mod, anything. I can just unscrew that coil that's dodgy and start again. You know, I've, I've not wasted any time. Um, so that's cool. It's really cool. Coil Master does it again, knocks it right out of the park, in my opinion. I think it's excellent. Um, so should probably give one away. Okay, so to win the Coil Master 521 tab, all you need to do, I haven't really thought this through, is, uh, and I hope uh, I hope Vic sees the funny side of this, um, all you have to do to win this is go on Scotch Vic, uh, Vic Mullen, Vaping with Vic Mullen, Vaping with Vic, uh, V-I-C, go onto his video for the Coilmaster 521 and comment bananas, bananas, just comment bananas on his video. Don't tell him why, don't explain why, nothing like that. Just put bananas on his video. Um, I will then go to his video and I'll pick someone at random. I'll send you a message through YouTubes 
and uh, we'll hook you up. I'll send it you. To, I'll get your address and I'll send it to you. So that's all. That's all we're doing. <laughs> that's all we're doing. Okay. So just go on his video for the five two one master, and um, and put bananas, and uh, and I'll give it. I'll give it to a random person from those comments. Um, yeah, just a bit of fun. I feel bad about stealing his name. Um, you know, so it's about time that. Uh, we our channels crossed crossed paths, <laughs> so so uh, yeah. Put bananas on his uh, video if you want to win it. Um, I've been vaping Vic, the other vaping Vic, and uh, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.